Good afternoon, this is Big Guy DIY Robert coming to you with a little project I'm doing on my snowmobile trailer. Uh, one thing I started early, and here's a little picture I took of this piece of paper right now. That picture are dates of when I installed LED lights in my kitchen. Uh, it was really the first year they started coming out with LED lights that you can use inside your house. It was quite limit, quite limited to what you can use. But over the years, I've added more and more LEDs outside and inside my house. And a lot of these are still running after 10 or 15 years, even more than 15 years, the ones I put in my kitchen are what, 24 years old, and they still work fine, and they're dimmable. So I've also updated LED lights on my vehicles. I've updated lights um, on the exterior of the house. I put LED lights in my snowmobiles. Uh, it's just pretty versatile. All my lights, you can see one behind me, all my shop lights are all LEDs now. Some where I've removed the ballast and it's a direct connection to the lamp itself. I actually have a extra one right here. This is a direct connect without a ballast. And then there's others where you can keep the ballast inside your old shop lights. But then you also have, you know, ones where you can buy a complete LED light setup. Some it'll be a tape ribbon. Some will be like a, a, a tube. I mean, I got quite a few of them in here, actually. There. One over there. So they're pretty versatile. So, on my trailer, I have the whole trailer LED lights, and the interior lights are also LED. The thing is, is the interior lights only work when the running lights of the vehicle are on. <clears throat> so I'd have to have the vehicle running all the time. So because I had a 110 hookup installed in my trailer, I thought, well, I want to install LED lights that will run off 110. Now, most of the time, if not all, LED lights, depending on their design, usually are running off DC. Not all, but most of the time. I did come across this brand. It's not a promotion, but it's something I came across because I did some shopping for it. Let me show you what I have. So I'll put these, um, the link in the description for these lights. And I will show you why I bought these when we go look at the trailer. But this is a ribbon LED light that are waterproof. And when you install them and say you want a certain length, but this is too long, you can just cut these directly. And what you cut off obviously will not work, but where you put the cut, the other LED lights will still work. This is 16 foot long. This will run off of AC power. So this took a little time to find because I wanted something that was a ribbon and ran off AC power. The way it works is they give you a cord here, which is gasketed, and it is keyed. If you look right here, you can see the slot. So it only connects one way. And there's a little thumb screw on here. That tightens it up. Okay. 
And there we go. AC powered LED lights. Now, why did I choose this one or this style? The length of my trailer is 16 feet. I wanted lights to kind of go around the inside, not lights to go across the top. The lights that you would normally use in, say, a shop are going to hang lower than the height of the trailer. So my trailer height, I think, is 6'2", and that's between the joists. Any shop light you buy, it's going to be two, 2 to 3 inches thick. And I'm not looking to put lights in there to make it a workshop. So I'm not looking for this really bright, bright lumens light at all. I'm looking for um, a light that I can turn on. I can still do stuff in the trailer. And if I need to, I can pull out my other LED light, my headlight, and use this if I really need to work on a snowmobile with inside the sled or anything with inside the trailer itself. Not with inside the sled, with inside the trailer. So what maybe gravitate towards this style is I have the plug here. I can lengthen this through this attachment. Again, it's keyed. You just plug in. And then you got the thumb screw here, it just turns. And now I got two of them all lit. So this is why I bought this style light is because I can continuously add to it and uh, it's going to put out a, a good lumens. It's not going to be super bright, but it'll be bright enough. So let's go look at the trailer. So in my trailer, I've already picked out a spot where the lights are going to go. In the construction of the trailer, we got this piece of aluminum. So the lights are just going to run, stick right to this, because there's an adhesive back to the lights. Come across this beam here, go underneath, and continue on across, and then follow the same aluminum all the way to the front. And in the front part, I don't have one of these structural pieces here, as you can see. So the lights will just come right across here, and they'll end up, I think, just above the doorway. So. I installed this because I wanted to have more than one socket. So here I can run my battery chargers, but I only need one socket to run this entire string of lights all the way around, and it has its own power strip uh, button on it. Uh, I've already cleaned off the aluminum with acetone, so I'm getting rid of any of the oils that are on here. And uh, yeah. So what I can do is I'm gonna set this camera up and install. So to give you an idea of head height, so I'm 6'3, and my head slightly against it. So yeah, I think it's 6'2 in here. 6'1. If I did, you know, like the shop lights you would normally do, this here is uh two inches. Right there. The shop light's gonna hang lower. Than the cross member so you risk whacking your head the other thing is you can't attach to this aluminum this is your roof you're not going to drive screws through this if you attach anything you're going to do it to the cross members on here and the thing is is most lights that you see in a shop you're going to be attaching to the bottom of the cross member so it just makes everything hang lower yes i see a lot of trailers <clears throat> we'll install the lights along the side, but I wanted something that did not take up a lot of room and That's the cool thing about LEDs is you can get some pretty bright LEDs and take up very very little room Headlights is a perfect example. I mean This is a tiny little thing, but holy cow is it amazingly bright? So the other thing about these lights if you want to do more of a permanent installation, you can cut the cord, and this is in the instructions. You can cut this cord and wire this into a switch. 
and you can wire it into a regular switch or you can wire it into a dimmable switch. These lights are dimmable. Uh, can you change the colors of them? I have no idea and quite frankly, I don't care. I want the white light. And so I tend to go for the light that's around 5,000 K. Uh, 6,000 is a little too purplish for me. 4,000 is really not too bright. Uh, that's going towards more of a halogen lamp color. So 5,000 K tends to be the best. Now I'll see if there's any special instructions on here, but not really. Work with a 120 volt dimmer switch. So they're showing you how you can install a dimmer switch if you want to. How to cut the line if you want to cut it or attach another line to it. This might be better because you don't have a sticker over everything. So I'm going to uh, set the camera up and I'm going to install the first string up inside. I'm going to put the, the camera into time lapse so you can see it. And uh, hopefully it all sticks because the temperature currently right now is 34 degrees. That's a little cold to be sticking things to aluminum. This being an adhesive back, the nice thing about it is should any of it start coming off the aluminum, you can buy double-sided tape um, built by or made by Gorilla, uh, like Gorilla Glue. <clears throat> and it comes in different weights of how much weight you want to hang off the tape. So there's a 30 pound, don't quote me on this, but I think it's a 30 pound, a 40 pound, and a 60 pound, or 30, 50, 60, something like that. I think it's like 30, 40, 60. Uh, so any part of this that starts coming off, you can just use this Gorilla double-sided tape and put it on underneath it and it'll stay up a hell of a lot longer. So let's get going on this. Well, that was a fail. It's too cold. Nothing is sticking to the aluminum up here. It just comes right off. So, I'm going to try something else. I got to think about this. And I will come back and show you if my idea works. All right, this is part two, take two. We're going to see if this idea works. Let me grab the lights. So far, so good.
I'm short. But that's okay. This is not coming down. So, let me tell you what I did. What I used for this. This is what I used. And that's the key word in this. This tape... And this is the model I use. So when I did a search, I did 3M BHB LSE. It comes in two models, LSE or 4951. This double-sided tape, which is this, can be applied to any surface, metal, glass, wood, uh, anything, as long as the surface is 32 degrees or warmer. So this can actually be used, I, is it on this page? Yeah, let me show you the wording here. So you'll panels the frames, and application temperature, adhesive, 32 degrees. Uh, what was the one thing I thought I saw? I was reading on this, but this tape is actually can be used in replace of rivets. That's the strength of it. So even though these lights, it's just too uh, adhesive on the back here. It's just too cold. It's not going to stick. So I stuck this tape up. I bought this on Amazon. And I did a search for it, and I will put um, information about this tape below in the description, as well as the lights I'm using. So if you wanted to go this route, you'll know what to put up first, which is the tape, before you put this up. So the tape is a half inch wide, so it's the same width as the lights, and it's 16 feet. Well, they have it as five yards. But it's supposed to be 16 feet, and it's not. It's a little shy of it. But, uh, yeah, let me get the rest of this going. Okay, so the tape is, uh, I wouldn't kind of stretch it, but it does have a little flexibility to it. And so, I mean, it's not, it's not a lot, that's for sure, on there. I may end up buying another one. Cost of the tape um, was 11 bucks, And uh, it came within 48 hours of ordering it. So we'll just stick one in and just line it up on the aluminum. But don't press along it. Follow your finger along it because this does stretch. So you know what I'm saying? So don't push here, push here, push here, and push here. Drag your finger along it because if you push in different sections and drag your finger along it, you're going to get wrinkles. How do I know? Because I already did that once. So I'm saving it a, the effort. So I'm actually kind of putting a little tension on it and just pressing along. The temperature outside right now is 41 degrees.
Yeah, I'll have to order more. I'm short by two and a half feet. The one test I did with the tape before I started putting the light, attaching the light to it, was to see if I could pull the tape off the metal, off the aluminum, and it would not. It would like come close to breaking off. So that way, I know it's holding. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna zoom in on this plug. So on this plug, you have a threaded latch, we'll say. On this, that threaded latch will go to here. And it's keyed. So it can only go on one way. The only thing I don't like about this is I need to start from this end. Even when I was starting it with uh, the plug part, like this part here actually goes into the wall socket, the attachment to this. It's in here. So you got to take this whole thing off. What I just did is just... Just break the side off on this and just take the whole light out. Like that. Now, we can attach this. Set it on, and we're ready to go. When you take it off the initial packaging, the tape comes off. It's just, I don't know, maybe it's the cold air or something? I have no idea. That is my loss right there. So if I let go, see how this is not falling? It's not peeling off. <clears throat> like anything, it's like a garden hose. It gets twisted and you got to how to deal with it. So here we go for the insulation. I am going to do something special about that right there. And I will show you that after I install it. You can see how my light goes up underneath. And again, I'm going to have light. But how low it hangs. I mean, that's what, an eighth? The whole thing's going to be lit up. This is why I said, oh, I wasted some. So here's the double sided tape here. I'll just press the wiring against that. It may or may not stay. <clears throat> I probably will do something to, just to secure this, just to be sure. <clears throat> then here, instead of going underneath, I went facing. So that way it faces towards the back of the trailer. Versus just straight down. 
So this is what I have left all the way down there. So that is going to come up here and it's going to overlap right up here, which is fine. So when I come back, I'll show you how I'm going to secure this. I'm going to secure it to the wood. So that way I'm not drilling any holes into the metal. And then we will power it up. So I finished the installation last night. So there's my power. Power up the lights. And I forgot this last section here that I had hanging. This is wood. It'll stick to the wood. But one thing I did add, we'll come up close to this, is you see these little brackets right here. These came with the package. But I was not going to use them on the aluminum. This, the screws themselves are just... They're tiny, so here's the tip of my finger. You can see how small the screws are. This here, I don't have confidence in because it's rubber. I don't see that lasting a long time. So down the road when this thing breaks, I'm just going to fabricate this out of flat metal stock, aluminum stock, and then just pre-drill the hole here. The screw would go in, and then... Reattach, you know, the ones that fall off. If I ever have an issue with any of this, I can just retape it with a double-sided tape. But one thing I wanted to show you up close was this connection here. This is a, it's like a U-shape with the hole in it. This is what you use for holding coaxial cable. So it's the right size to hold this because this is the same size as a coaxial cable. Of course, this is the other end, which is, is not needed. And then here in the middle, where we have our connection, same idea, but this one here is a closed loop. So it comes together like this, and then you have a screw hole that goes through both ends. And so the loop closes in on what I'm trying to hold in place. So temperature-wise... Today is supposed to hit in the 40s. Nothing is peeled overnight. Everything is just sticking fine. This is called tape LED because see how thin it is? I mean, it doesn't even hang down underneath the top. Powering wise, I showed you this power strip earlier. That's it. The camera might show black lines, and that's because of the LEDs themselves. But what I will do this evening is um, I will come in the trailer at night so you get a better idea of the brightness. So since I finished it last night, it is very bright in this trailer. Like, it's workable uh, work light. Does that make sense? It's workable. It's like having a work light in here. They're so bright. So it's kind of funny because while I was doing this, um, I went outside the side door here, and it lights up all the the yard and the tree and stuff. It almost looks like the you know one of those food trucks, food trailers, where they have the uh, vending lights and they're lit up at night. That's how bright it is inside here. So. This evening, I'll finish this video up, showing how bright they are, and then we'll end it at that. So I'm going to show you how bright these lights are. <clears throat> now that they're installed. Now with the video, I know I'll show black lines because of LED lights. 
but this kind of gives you a good idea how bright it is. I also post pictures in this. Because the camera is self-adjusting right now. That's what I'm doing. But you could easily <clears throat> work in this light. It's it's that bright. Which my seat off I'm about to do. I'll be working on the, this tonight. Putting in the charger. Just like here, I got the charger running in that. <clears throat> so that's it. I mean, you can see how there's a defined line on the tree. That's because I got to get the door open. But, yeah. So I'm going to close out this video. So again, this is not rope LED lights. This is what you basically call tape LED lights because it's thin like tape with an adhesive back. And I have to say, when I got this going last night, I was extremely impressed. I was surprised how bright this really is in the simplicity it is for installation. My only hope is this lasts a long time. You know, a lot of this stuff we get that's cheap from made in China just falls apart. So my fingers are crossed on this one. So this is Big Guy DIY Robert signing off. If you got any questions or any comments, put them down below. Be sure to give me a thumbs up on this one. It helps to post more stuff on here. And uh, hey, have a great sled season. Have a good one.